Good morning, children. All of you open course book page number twelve. Course book page number twelve. Okay. Our is the seventh largest country in terms of area in the world. Our India is the seventh largest country. Okay. It lies to the north of the equator. To the equator, our country is in the north side. The geography of India is extremely diverse. That means in India the earth surface is in um, diverse means different. With landscapes ranging from snow capped mountain ranges to deserts, plains, hills and plateaus. Uh, see these landscapes, uh, different landscapes are there in India. No? What are those snow capped mountains? That means the mountains are always covered with the snow. Hills, plateaus, plains. Okay, um, these are all the different landforms of India. Here they have given you the India map. Uh, see the East Bay of Bengal, West Arabian Sea and um, South uh, Indian Ocean, North Himalayas. Okay, here Eastern Ghats, Western Ghats, they can plant Utah, deserts and rivers also they have given. Okay, and uh, hills here, Mahendragiri Hill, uh, Salhar Hill. Okay, and this China, Pakistan, Afghanistan, um, Afghanistan, Sri Lanka, these are all the neighboring uh, countries of India. China, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, these are the neighboring countries of India. Okay. There are, do you know, there are 28 states in India, there are 28 states and 9 union territories. Okay, New Delhi is our capital, national capital. To the India, capital is New Delhi. Next, on the next page. What is the difference between a spaceship and a desert ship and a ship in the water? Spaceship. Desert ship and ship in the water. What is the dis uh, difference means space uh, spaceship is used to uh, carry the thing, carry the things from uh, in the space. Okay, or to travel in the uh, space. Desert ship is camel. Desert ship is camel. It is used for transport purpose in the deserts and to carry the things also. Next is ship in the water. No water in order to uh, go from uh, this side to that, uh, this side to the other side. Okay, that means a transport purpose. Okay, to cross the rivers. Okay, and, and lakes. They will use the ship. Next. Have you observed the water in this picture? Here they have given the desert picture. Water is there in the desert. What is this area in the desert called? Okay. The water in the desert area is called the oasis. Okay. Oasis. Next. Why do we call the huge mountains in the north as Himalayas? Okay. On the north side, Himalayas are there. Why we call it as Himalayas? North side, no, to the India, north side, uh, uh, Himalayas are there. Why we are calling it as Himalayas? Why we are calling it uh, here, uh, north side, Nepal is there, no? Nepal, Nepal is called uh, snow as Himalayas. Himalayas. Okay. And Indians also, the snow, they will call in Telugu as Himamu. So, they will call that snow-capped mountains as Himalayas. Name the highest peak in the world. Highest peak in the world is Mount Everest. Mount Everest. Highest peak in the world is Mount Everest. Next, crores of people visit and take holy dip in the rivers during Kumbh Mela and Pushkarams. 
express your views on these events by considering the religious environmental economical health and natural integration aspects these pushkara san kumbh mela uh, that this is the tradition for the hindus okay uh, what all we as pushkarams uh, will come um, to that uh, rivers okay uh, they will call a godavari pushkaram so krishna pushkarams like that no this is uh, this is the religion tradition uh, tradition okay uh, it is a hindu tradition okay uh, to the rivers they will worship in the time okay and they will take a holy dip holy dip in that uh, rivers and they will worship to that uh, rivers okay uh, this is the tradition of the hindus okay and environmental many people gathering there and uh, they are uh, they will take, they are taking the holy dip in the uh, rivers no so they are polluting at uh, at once all the so, um, thousands of people will uh, take dip in that water in that uh, river water so uh, they are causing uh, water pollution they are polluting the water in those rivers Uh, so environmentally it is uh, uh, causing water pollution and economically uh, people all will go to that particular river now at the time um, government uh, in that by the transport government is through the transport the uh, government is earning the money economically government has benefit and uh, health many people if many people gather gathering and that they are, they are taking dip in that whole uh, that river particular river uh, so it is leading to uh, some uh, diseases skin diseases like that next uh, national integration aspects uh, it, it, there is some uh, this pushkara san kumbh mela uh, there is some advantages and disadvantages also okay now open your activity book act volume 1 activity book page number 4 mark the cardinal and ordinal directions of a map what are the basic directions are called the cardinal directions okay the what are the east west north south okay east west north south and ordinal directions the directions in between these basic directions are called the ordinal directions north east north west south west so east north east in between north and east north east in between north and west north west in between south and west south west in between south and east south east uh, now east west north south are cardinal directions north east north west south west south east these are ordinal directions next name the water bodies with the help of the given words see here some pictures are given here some names strike waterfall gulf river lake bay okay see the first picture see here water body it is um, surrounded by the land and it has the narrow opening narrow opening means first one is gulf first picture is gulf see here water body it is covered with the land it has wide opening compared to this it has wide opening no so this is bay second one is bay see here two uh, water bodies are connected by a narrow passage this is called the strait two water bodies they are connected by a, a narrow passage okay very small passage no 
for the uh, for the water to flow from one water body to the another water body so it, it is the strait see it is the water body that is surrounded by the land so it is the uh, lake the large water body that is surrounded by the land is lake see here water uh, falling down vertically falling down and it is going to the uh, river sea or ocean so this is called the waterfall vertically water is falling down in the course of uh, rivers or seas or ocean no so it is the waterfall here it is a stream of water flowing on the land okay so this is the river okay uh, it is a stream of water flowing stream of fresh water flowing on the land uh, uh, it is flowing towards the uh, another uh, sea or ocean or another river uh, so this is the river first one is gulf second one bay third one strait fourth one lake fifth one waterfall and sixth one river okay now come to the next phase phase number 5 identify the landform or water body for each number given on the map and note down its name in the table here there is the picture and numbers are there okay according to that number we must uh, uh, tell the uh, landform or water body's name see the first first one where is number 1 here it is okay snow capped mountain okay it is a place it is higher than the much higher than the land around it so this is the mountain first one is mountain okay and second one where is number 2 here it is a flat area flat area uh, which is suitable for growing crop second one is plains flat area of land which is suitable for growing crop is plain next number 3 okay it is higher than the land around it third one is hill next number 4 the land between two hills is called the valley the land between two hills is valley next number 5 here now it is a flat area of land uh, that is uh, higher than the land around it a flat area of land that is higher than the land around it is called the plateau next sixth one here a narrow uh, it is a narrow passes of land okay so this is the strait it is the strait Sixth one is strait. Next seventh one. It is the land where the water body touches the land is called the coast. Coast. Next eighth one. eighth one it is a uh, landmass uh, that is surrounded by water three sides Wa landmass the which is surrounded by water on three sides is called the peninsula okay eighth one is peninsula ninth one it is a water uh, part of salt water body and it is separated from the it is a water body close to the sea and it is uh, separated by the uh, narrow strip of land see the ninth one it is a part of uh, salt water body but it is separated by a uh, narrow strip of land it is called the lagoon next one 
next tenth one. It is a landmass that is surrounded by water on all sides. Uh, landmass that is surrounded by water on all sides is called the island. Next eleventh one. Uh, group of islands. Here there are group of islands is called the archipelago. Next twelfth one. Let us draw here. Okay, uh, water falling vertically down to the uh, uh, to the course of the river. So this is called the waterfall. First one is uh, it is a land. It is an area. It is much higher than the land around it. It is mountain. Second one is it is the flat area of the land which is suitable for the crop plains. Next, it is the it is the land. Okay, uh, it is an it is an area. It is higher than the land around it. That is hill. Okay, and fourth one is the land in between two hills is valley. Valley. Next, fifth one is it is a flat area of the land which is higher than the land around it is called the plateau. Next, sixth one. See, this is the narrow passes of water from one water body to the another water body. So, this is straight. From one river to the another river, uh, the narrow passes of, uh, is called the, narrow passes is called the straight. Next, seventh one. It is the land. Here, water is touching to that land. Okay. Uh, the land where the water body touches is called the coast. Next, eighth one. Eighth one, it is a landmass that is surrounded by water three sides. It is called the peninsula. Next, ninth one. Ninth one is, it is a part of water body, salt water body. It is a part of sea, but it is separated by a narrow strip of land that is lagoon. Next, tenth one, and it is a landmass that is surrounded by water on all, completely on all sides. That is called the island. Next, group of islands is archipelago. Next, it is a, a water falling vertically down to the course of the river. So, this is the waterfall. Okay. Mountain, plain, hill, valley, plateau, strike, coast, peninsula, lagoon, island, archipelago and waterfall. Okay. Thank you.